Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're not. So today's video is going to be all about brows and how I do my brows um, on the regular basically. There are so many different uh, products to use out there and so many way ways to do them but I just wanted to show you how I like to do them um, in general. I do definitely have days where I take shortcuts and I do have days where I really take my time and go freaking precise. So if you'd like to see how I get these brows then just keep on watching. So for today I'm going to be using a brow pomade from NYX. This is their Tame and Frame um, pomade and I'm using the shade 04 Espresso. And so when I'm working on myself I like to just take a little bit out from the pot and then work from the lid. So I'll dip in my brush and coat both sides. So I dip my brush into the pot first, I take a bit out on both sides and then I'll come over to my lid and I'll just smooth out the edges so I'm getting rid of any excess product and also kind of working the product into the brush and it creates a very fine um, tip. So I keep flattening both sides and once I'm happy with how um, fine and straight the tip is then I'll go in and work on my brow. And every time I need to pick up product I'll do the same thing and just make sure that I'm keeping it um, at a fine edge. So to start off I like to outline underneath my brow. And you want to keep this line as straight as possible up to the arch. And then once you have that nice smooth line going up to the arch, I'll come down to the tail. So when I go around the arch, I'm curving my brush around rather than creating a sharp triangle. So then I'm going to outline the top and I'm going to mirror that shape. So now I'm going to come down and meet the tail and when I did underneath I extended it a little bit past where my natural hair um, stops just to give me a bit of length there. But when I come down in the top I'm not going to go to the very end say around here where the actual colour ends. I'm going to come down only to about um, here, say where my natural air hair ends. But the idea is that the tail is left as fine as possible so it's coming to a really fine point and I just want the very end of it to be as thin as one brush stroke. So when I do the tail I tend to extend it a little bit and then just not meet the very end when I come up from the top. So that is my outline done and then I'll just fill it in and I work from the back half of the brow forward so I'll start say at the arch and fill in the tail. And then I colour in from the arch forward. So now as I'm getting towards the front of the brow I have less and less product on my brush and I'm using a lighter hand so I'm not laying down so much product at the very front. So now that that shape is basically filled in I'm going to come in with some shadow and just get any gaps where the product is missed. I don't want to go in too heavy with the pomade because it is a heavy product already so it's going to be extremely painted on. Um, if I make sure that there is no gap showing. Whereas a powder is a little bit lighter and it won't look so heavy. So I'm taking a dark brown on an angle brush. This is Inglops 329. And first I'm gonna use that as I say for the body of the brow, just to hit any gaps. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more and again with a light hand, I'm gonna take that through the front of the brow. So it's giving us a similar colour but a much softer effect in the front. And then if you feel like you need to make it a bit sharper or clean up any edges you can take um, a little angled brush with some concealer and just go around your edges and erase any little mistakes or it just makes your brows stand out that little bit more if you're using a lighter shade. I don't always do this but it is a nice um, option to have if you feel like you weren't as precise as you wanted to be. So 
then just blend out the edges of your concealer so you're not just having stripes of concealer around. And for me, that's pretty much it. So these are the finished brows. As I said at the beginning of the video, um, there are loads of different ways that you can do your brows more natural, more extreme. Um, I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea. It is airing on the more extreme side. It's more um, of a structured brow and really defined and quite sharp at the edges, which I personally like, but I know not everyone does. So you can definitely soften a little bit by brushing it through with a spoolie. You can um, just avoid the gels and pomades and go straight to powder. Or you might prefer to just brush through like a coloured gel just to give them a little bit of colour. It's totally up to you, but this is just the way I like to do my brows generally. And rather than kind of explaining the same thing in makeup tutorials, I thought I would just have a dedicated video. So if you're interested in how I do my brows in those videos, you can come here. But that is basically it from me. Um, I did also just film a video on contour, highlight and blush using creams and powders. One side of my face is done with creams and one side is done with powders. So that will be coming um, during Jan Butteri. And if you're interested in the lip color, it's Inglot's Crayon in number 28. So yeah, that's it from me guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up by clicking the like button that's down below and subscribe while you're here. I'm currently doing what I'm calling Jam Terry, meaning that I'm putting up a beauty video every single day. So make sure you subscribe and don't miss out. Thank you again and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.